What's the crack lads? Welcome back to your What's Coming Thursday video. Today we're going to be taking a look as to what potentially could be coming on tomorrow, which is Thursday. We also have a couple of little tidbits to talk about as well. Tidbits, tidbits, tidbits. Uh, but this special player list here, we kind of know the rinse and repeat nature of this now. We have on the Monday, we have our epic boosters. So Iniesta, Kaka, Schneider, you still have a couple of days to get those and over the weekend. But what they've started to do now is, as well as the player of the week selection, as you see here, we're now going to be getting a special showtime or a special featured or a special teamed or a special selection within this. So today it's the AFC. Tomorrow it's going to be something different by the time this video is going up all on Thursday, right? For fur Thursday, once the maintenance is over tonight, um, you have 14 hours left to get Blitz Curler. Now, a lot of people have asked me, why are they re-releasing Blitz Curler? Why are they re-releasing cards? Number one is obviously they know that these are probably, they're starting to re-release -re probably the most popular cards. So that's why I think we're going to predict what's going to come next and have a little think about it. But this Blitz Curler, if you spun for this Blitz Curler way back when it first int was introduced and you got your, your cards, brilliant. But there's a lot of new people on an ever uh, revolving conveyor belt of new guys downloading this game, new people downloading and trying this game. And they're saying, oh, I would have loved the chance to spin for Salah or Kiesa or Son. Now they've got a second chance to do it. It's similar to the new boosters that are being refreshed and re-released. The old Kaka card is not as good stats-wise and has a different playstyle such as whole player compared to the new Kaka, but it's for a chance for people that didn't spin or didn't get the chance to spin before, right? So with that in mind, I do also want to talk about the new update that's going to be coming. We'll focus on this. I will be live tomorrow in the live stream and we'll be talking about this quite a bit. I'm actually going to hide my face cam here a second because we know we're going to be getting a new match pass, right? And objectives. The match pass is ending next Thursday and we also are going to be getting the new objectives here as well. This phase is going to be ending in seven days time, okay? So they're slightly uh, on schedule um, or maybe a little bit like kind of planned for the next campaign to kick off. The next campaign looks to be, for all intents and purposes, a Euro themed to tie in to Euro 2024. It won't be obviously an official collabor collaboration because they don't have the official license to the Euros as far as we know. But um, that's obviously with EA, but they do seem to be able to be bringing out the cards such as we've gotten before, you know. So that also brings us on to what cards could come with these special cards, right? Well, I think the first card that we're going to be looking at is the Showtime, is to what could happen with the Showtime. Will Fortress come back? A lot of people have been asking for this, for the defensive side of the game. A lot of people have been talking about Fortress. I personally, I'm in two minds over this, boys. I think it could be Fortress, or I also think that we might get something like this, if it's going to be Kante, Ronaldo, and Koulibaly again. Obviously, Ronaldo's broke, breaking records, or he broke the record the other day. That could come as well, and that's a kind of a pack where they might try and get, you know, a, defenser, a defensive player, a CB, and a CF, and tie it in with the AFC pack, um, which we already had here. I mean, we already had this Champions League pack there, so maybe they'll re-release that one, which will be a popular, Cristiano Ronaldo's always going to be popular, and then the Blitz Curler could be Fortress, or could be another skill that they brought out. In terms of the actual player of the weeks, they have tweeted out these three players as the player of the week. So you've got two boosters and you've got a farewell volley as well. So this is an announced retirement. It looks like it could be Tony Cruz. You have your farewell volley as well and then the cup winner. So it looks to be a Manchester United player. It looks to be Tony Cruz. And I mean, it depends. It depends on who you're going to probably get um, for, the next, for the next card. I mean, that is kind of where we're at now with it. Um, whether or not that's going to come or not, it depends. But I do think that it is going to be Bruno. And I think it also could be Olivier Giroud, who looks to be kind of leaving Milan as well. Tony Cruz is the retired. Olivier Giroud with the farewell um, volley. And then Bruno Fernandes with the cup winner. So it depends. It could be a, a manner of uh, players. But they usually try to bring out kind of different type of, types of players with these, especially with the boosters. So... Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of that, I mean, with those predictions. And obviously, you'll have the other predictions as well with the player of the weeks and stuff as normal. That's going to be your last chance to get these Blitz Curler and player of the weeks. We've also talked about the eFootball League and the new objectives. That new campaign will probably be kicking off. The new eFootball League will be there as well. The Beckenbauer campaign that you see here. So this Beckenbauer, we're still ongoing with this login bonus. There's going to be another two weeks in this Beckenbauer login bonus there. If you haven't got Beckenbauer yet, we're on our second batch. So we already have spun for Beckenbauer. And you can see that we've 11 spins already spun in this. But this Beckenbauer pack here is going to be ongoing, as you see here with the date on it. That is going to be going for another two weeks. So it seems to be that they'll either refresh the content next week with the new campaign and stuff. 
but then have a little bit of follow over with Beckenbauer and stuff who knows but I definitely do think that this will be ongoing for two weeks and then they'll bring in another campaign where you get a free player for something similar like this because as far as I've been made aware this has been a very successful player retention type of thing where people are like not only logging in and taking their penalty now right they're also logging in and they're playing the event and they're clearing the objectives which is what a lot of uh, you know people that are not going to spend money on coins i mean they're spending their time you know and time is nearly as valuable player retention is huge for free to play games because it's you know there's no investment as a free to play player if you're not spending coins all you can invest is your time and that's kind of what uh konami would probably want to improve in the build-up to eFootball 2025 so that is it for me let's just a quick video short and sweet on wednesday we always do this and uh, i will talk to you guys tomorrow we'll be live streaming we'll go through everything as normal hope to see you there I'll talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button if you're a beast. Peace.